Hey everybody, thank you very much for joining. I really wanted to take some time, I have a little time, before I have to get somewhere else and make this video. So today we're gonna to talk about a token. And because I'm such a huge fan of Quick Intel, and because of Quick Intel, I'm able to do this kind of research, we're gonna talk about this token called True Gold Token. Now, you may have heard me talk about it before, but this is my first visual video on it. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to go to the scanner and actually explain some of the things that I was kind of concerned about. So here we go. This is true gold token. If you look at this chart, it kind of worried me. Well, long story short, this was actually because of an accident. True gold token is actually from rock to DeFi. This guy is actually mining gold in California and as a token holder or NFT holder, you are profit sharing. And he had a accident in the mine where it caved in. And I am pretty sure he broke like three spots in his hip pelvic area. Ow. But they've got back into the whole thing. You can see their Twitter or their Facebook or I think it's TikTok and see them through the whole process of actually mining things. So that's what this is. But before I ask those kind of questions about this, I did my own research on the scanner. I saw the scanner and I thought, you know what? I need to I need to figure this out a little more. So this is what this actually told me. The airdrops, I wanted to ask questions about that. Why is there a max on a wallet? And obviously in order to do those things, it's renounced, it is not renounced. And so it kind of clarified some of those things, but this is what intrigued me. Like that shows like maybe that's a scam. So I go to Shadow Shield, but it's all zeros. And I, I've even refreshed it. And after I refresh it, it's still there. So it may, I, know, I get it that Shadow Shield is not 100% and there can always be a chance that it is a scam, but it made me really curious of what to ask about that. So this is the team or this is their page or website. Ugh. This is their white paper. And I believe on page eight, yeah, page eight is when you start to see some of the profit share and estimates. Now, I believe this is all changing because of the BUSD stuff that they have to switch to USDT, but also whether it's uh, more or less how much you hold, what they're going to, I don't know, but it is not a quick get rich scheme. I see this. At least that's what I understand. I see this as a passive income, just like you would for a savings account. And you get a certain rate for putting your money in the bank and they give you the, the interest rate and the percentage back for having your money in there. Well, this is the same thing. Only what they're doing is they're profit sharing with the gold they mined. Now, if he were to mine a mountain of gold and make billions of dollars, I don't think these prices change. Instead, I, I would think I'm not a business guy. I don't own a business, but I would think he put that away because if he mined all that gold and then hit a dead streak of nothing, he still has made a promise to the investors to give him something. And that's what I kind of like about that. It's because this right here can make you some passive income without even worrying about it. Pop your head in there, say hi, see how things go and make sure there's no huge accidents, but that's the idea behind it. And the NFTs are the same way. Here are the, the NFTs and there's something really cool behind them. With the NFTs, you actually have a chance to mine actual gold, silver, or copper. And I get it. Yeah. You can go buy copper from a hardware store, but I want to see if they actually send it. Now I minted one of these things and I got a copper it is a bummer. It's not gold, but it made me think, okay, well, do you have to send it? And when I asked those kind of questions, what they said was when you mint these NFTs, you get the $3 and 25 cents a month for your passive income and a chance for this. Now there are five total of these nuggets and there are three gone, two left. And I think these NFTs are about hundred bucks, depending on the B and B and where it fluctuates. So you have a chance to win some extra cash because you can actually trade it in and they would give you the value of the gold at that time. 
or you can have them send it to you. And so what I wanted to do is make sure that I can have it sent to me. Now, I highly doubt, I mean, I would be very impressed if this came like this. And yes, again, I know that I can go get copper from the hardware store. But if I were to mint some silver, that'd be cool too. So I don't know if this is the actual stamp they put on there or how buffed up it gets. Same thing with this. These look huge, but a gram of gold is like, it's very small. I mean, this right here is like a credit card size and it's like a small little quarter of it, corner of it. But the nugget, that would be a hard decision. Like, would I want to trade that in for USD value or would I throw that in the safe and say, hey, this is for you kids. So that's the idea for the NFTs. That same idea with the tokenomics, depending on how much you hold. And that too is another decision because as the price fluctuates up and down, you have to think, well, it's passive income or do I take the profits? And as I understand, these NFTs are not being made again. So you have one chance to do it. This is what their project is. And I, when you go to their TikTok or their Facebook or their, their X account, you actually see them doing all this stuff. And me being familiar with California, I know there's still some gold somewhere in those mountains. The fact that they found it is awesome. This gives you the story behind it of what they wanted to do. It's really cool. You should definitely do some more research. I've done my research with Quick Intel, which is why I jumped into that because I like the idea. I'm waiting for a copper bar to do another video. And I like the idea of passive income for cryptocurrency. So after doing my research with Quick Intel, I like TGT. And I'm hoping to maybe one time, maybe one more chance to go after that gold. I doubt it, but you never know. Other two projects I want to talk about later on. I, I think Shindu, Sh Shidu, I think that's how you pronounce it. Is it going to be a very fun one to talk about? And Picky Coin. Picky Coin is actually a coin that I jumped into after Quick Intel. They really helped me jump into other projects and earn some trust after some stuff in the past that happened with other tokens. So, the one thing I like about this, and I'll make a separate video for a Piggy Coin because I feel like it it needs its its own time for that. But soft staking, same thing, passive income. So with that being said, I wanted to, just to share my thoughts on the gold, the true gold token, and the fact that I used Quick Intel to check it out. And I feel like I've done my research to take a next step into another NFT or maybe some more tokens. So with all that on the table, I hope you guys have any questions. You guys can jump in their telegram or their Twitter or their Facebook ask questions look at their videos it is really cool what they're doing so I hope this helps and I hope I can get those other videos and I will do that video of that copper bar when it gets to me so you guys have a wonderful day make sure to look at quick Intel when you look at Dex tools right here in this audit button bam right there and I hope you guys have a wonderful day